Hi everyone, welcome over on the YouTube side. I'm Ace. Here we are with the worst video game levels. This was made live with all the lovely people over here on Twitch, so come stop by if you want and maybe we'll make another wacky video like this. So, video games have fun levels and then they have levels that are just absolute dog crap. So, one of the worst ones we've seen? Well, we're gonna start here with number five. Kingdom Hearts 2 Atlantica. Now, if you don't know this, here's... The, I'm sure you know Kingdom Hearts is basically just, you know, your action type of game. So... I bet you're expecting, you know, things not changing much in Kingdom Hearts 2, but what do we have here? Kingdom Hearts 2 Atlantica is a rhythm game. Oh, so, you get to go through about maybe five or six different songs of not great quality. <laughs> no, j Bro, it wasn't because of the seashell, bro. I wanted... To continue some more action. Instead, we're just spending, I'd say maybe up to 30 minutes total, just doing a rhythm game over and over again. I didn't come to Kingdom Hearts to listen to this. I would have rather fought Ursula again. That was fun. Now, on the one hand, you could just skip Atlantica, but I didn't know that playing this the first time around, and I wasted too much time here. And I realized, wow, we really could have just skipped this. <laughs> or maybe they should have just thrown The Little Mermaid 2 in here instead <laughs> and continued that plot, but I don't think anyone really wants to talk about that either. <laughs> uh, and from the undersea, we're moving on to a more espionage with number four. Secret Agent Clank, the casino level. Now, for most of you who are on Twitch, you've probably seen me play a good maybe five minutes of this level, but here's the, here's how it breaks down. We're essentially breaking into Casino, which is going to involve a lot of changing into other people as disguises, which is terrible. The disguise gadget that you use, first of all, you have to be facing the target from their front. You have to actually get a front view of them, actually to transform into them. And there's not really places to hide, so you'll easily get spotted by the guards and get a game over, for starters. Two, if the person you disguise as just happens to walk by you by accident, your disguise is ruined, game over it. there. And trust me, there is a lot of guards just roaming the area. And... You would think with a stealth game, it would be better attuned to this, but no, no, it is terrible. And of course, who could forget the poker game? You have to suffer through a terrible poker game, rhythm game. And again, the rhythm game doesn't work. So even if you press the button at the right time, you could still get it wrong. By the way, you could st you could still do it wrong and it won't count. So, you have to do this rhythm game twice. There's a reason I've only played this game two times in my life because there's just so much bad moments in it that I don't want to sit through it again. Like, if you need a stealth game, play Metal Gear Solid or Sly Cooper. Don't play this. 
Just don't. Now, for our lovely pal Kaz the Hero, I said that you reminded me of something that I'd completely forgotten about. And that's our number three entry. Because here it is with Spider Man. Am I now? Holy that thing's bigger than life. Welcome to Spider Slayer. Essentially, like the very end game sort of style level for this. And here's how it works in case most of you forgot. You have to destroy all the generators around the room, right? The only problem is the robot itself will tear you apart. The laser beam that it can fire at you will rip through your health in a matter of seconds. And it's constantly attacking you. Just like as you can see right now. I spent a good almost two hours on just this part alone. <laughs> because the system would not leave me alone. And the only solution I could find was sticking all the way to the ceiling and trying to, like, web shot the generators. And why is this what it had to come down to? It would have been a better level if you could have just caught the robot upright or maybe just like climbing up it bit by bit and destroying the generators on it. Instead of having to rely on this. Add this with the fact that there weren't many healing opportunities in this level. And you have yourself a recipe for the worst level in this game. Which sucks because this was honestly a fun game. Score one for the Green Goblin I would say. Although, probably not many more after this, though. So. Hey. Next entry. As our lovely mod J-Rum said, there's gotta be a Sonic level, right? There's gotta be at least one out of all, all those games. And you're right, there is one. From, honestly, the worst game out of all the Sonic games. It's the silver level from Sonic 06. <laughs> uh. Now, as most of you already know, Silver's gameplay sucks. He's not as fast as Sonic or Shadow, and he basically uses telekinesis to do anything. Which is annoying to deal with, but sometimes manageable. But this is the worst example of what a level like his could be. And you wanna know why? Because by the time you get to the very end of the level, you have to move billiard balls with his psychokinesis all the way to this little goal at the very end of the stage. And unlike mostly every other object Silver can just pick up, you, you can only hit this thing nine times with your psychokinesis. That's it. And if it falls into any hole or something, it's gone and you have to restart. Or if you run out of hits, it'll blow up and then you have to start over again. There's no full force blasting this to the end either. I've spent so much time on this level alone. Like, sure, you can probably finish this level maybe 10 to 8, 8 to 10 minutes, normally. Most times I play this, it takes 30. 30 minutes just to do this part alone is insane. The worst part is, you could literally skip this whole part if you wanted to. There's a, there's a cheese where you could just take a box to the door at the end and then use Silver Shadow well, Psychokinesis to phase yourself through the ceiling and just skip that. The fact that you have to just break the game even more broken than it already is just to skip past this nonsense is beyond me. But I guess to be fair, 
the game's already busted as it is, so why am I expecting something good? Because the entire game of Barbie Explorer is crap, so I can't really just put the whole game in here. <laughs> it's all dog shit. <laughs> but, I bet you're wondering, what is the worst level that I've chosen out of all of this? What could possibly be the worst of the worst? Well, that's a tough choice to make because there's so many games that have bad levels, but of the ones that I can at least remember, there's one that sticks out more than all of them. And here it is! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Jack 2. And it's Gordon Crew's men through the sewers! Yeah! Okay, here's the long and short of it. Essentially, you're escorting Crew's men through the sewers. Simple affair, right? Here's the problem, though. Jack 2 is a hard game at times. Very hard. <laughs> so, you escort his men all the way down to the bottom of the sewers, right? And once that happens, you get thrusted into a fight against countless metalheads. And you're like, surely this could be fine, right? Well, the problem is, you staying alive isn't the only issue. If they die, you have to restart the entire walk back down here all over again. It's the same if they die before you even get to Mars statue as well. Because there are metalheads and lasers waiting for you. And I bet you're wondering, okay, why don't I just use Jack's hoverboard to just fly all the way down to the bottom, clear out the enemies, and wait for them to show up, or just hover down to where the statue is to just skip that part. Yeah, that doesn't work. Crew's men could literally fall off the platform, leading down to where you go anyway, and just insta-die. So, you can't just skip your way to the end. You have to take the long wait for them to just get there on their own. Exactly, Koss. Just like escorting Natalia in the satellite level in Goldeneye. And seeing as these guys can't really fend for themselves that well either, you're going to be spending a long time just watching the same section over and over. It's moments like these that make me appreciate Jack 1 more, or at least Jack 3. Because this game just really loved to push your buttons with missions like this. But, what are you gonna do? And there you have it. Those are the five worst video game levels I could think of. So, what do you guys think? Is there something I missed? Let me know, and I'd love to get say. Or, just come join us live. We'd love to see you. Join us live and have a blast. Until then, I've been Ace, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.